Right, we're now at the stage of activating the paint on this fog glass hot wood shell. What we need to do first is remove this film. Um, by doing that, a panel wipe on a cloth will be ideal. If not, hot soapy water like we've got, just use some kind of fairy liquid detergent. Basically rub it all over, get rid of this film. So you've got a nice base to start with. If you leave any of the dust on, the rust uh, in paint won't work because obviously it's got the anti-corrosion properties and that will inhibit the rusting. In the kit, you get an activator bottle which will have some of this white powder at the bottom of it. Just literally follow the instructions on the spray bottle itself, which is add water, shake it up and spray it on. That's obviously once it's degreased, uh, the remove the film and obviously uh, it's dry. And then you have, depending on the size of the kit, but it's pretty much every size kit bar, the very smallest, will come with extra activator. You may get one packet, two, three, four, five, depending on the size of your kit. Uh, and again, once you've run out of this, you then add it using the instructions on here, which is one tablespoon per bottle. So you just put a tablespoon of that in there. Again, add your water, shake it up and spray it on. So, right here we are after the first coat of activator is applied. It's still wet, it's been on about five minutes, but obviously it's uh, November, so it's pretty cold outside. Normally what you need to do is uh, leave the first one to dry and then reapply. Um, however, this is taking a bit longer because obviously the temperature outside. Uh, but as you can probably see, the majority of it um, is not rusting at all. Obviously where we've done the highlighted spec areas, they're starting to go. Um, the door, in comparison with this, is obviously going a bit better than, than the rear at the minute. It's probably after, like I say, five minutes or so. It's not really exciting on the first coat of activator, it's just obviously starting starting to do something and um, so what we normally do is apply probably three or four coats and you'll get a nice thick rust after that and then you can keep applying if you want to kind of burn some areas make some areas much darker than the rest so what i'm going to need to do is go in have a coffee leave this to dry and come back and apply the second coat but like i said after the first coat in five minutes there we go Right, second coat of activators on currently, uh, just waiting for it to dry. Um, also bare bits of metal which weren't protected. These um, just gives you an idea that our paint rusts exactly the same speed as standard steel. Um, obviously the bolts are stainless steel but brackets themselves are bare metal. Um, we've got alloy door handles so obviously they're not going to rust. Uh, it's basically the second coat as you can see. Uh, the rust running down the panels so we should have some nice runs in it. Obviously the markings on the floor, this will only happen on the activation stage. Once you've activated your paint, left it, you won't get any kind of stains on the floor when it rains or when you wash your car. So it's obviously only for this period of uh, running our activator over the top. You should be able to see that with the second coat on, um, the majority of the area is rusted. There's a few patches where it's it's not gone quite so well. Probably there may be a bit of dust on there or it just needs a quick sand. Um, I'm going to leave it to be honest because it might rust anyway. Um, that's where we're at the minute. Once this uh, second coat is dried, it will be time to probably give it a third coat. I'm just going to keep layering it until I'm happy with the finish. Um, so there's probably more videos to come. So here we are with the finished article. It's a five glass hot rod shell with original rusty paint uh, product used and then some highlighted 3D areas which you can probably see here created by using our specs which are available on the website um, along with our original rusty paint. And the way that we made that's been covered in uh, obviously earlier videos but those who haven't watched it it's a case of mixing a bit of leftover paint with our specs creating a paste and then using the paintbrush to kind of dab it on to give you kind of an intense uh, kind of 3D rusting iron texture. Now as you can see by the video we've not got any filters on this camera this is literally how it looks after its second coat of activator. Third coat of activator would darken it considerably um, and you would achieve a lot more runs in it but the minute we're very early on uh, with regards to building this hot rod so we're not going to spend too much time on the paint job it's literally only been activated just to kind of put this video online to show people kind of what you can achieve um, it's not a massive amount of work I mean to be fair 
it was only rolled on. Um, the paint was only rolled on, sanded. It's all been done in this tiny garage. So it's obviously no professional tools or hands during this process. Um, it's just a couple of quid on some four inch gloss rollers. We should be able to see kind of the different colours, hopefully. I mean, it's not a very good camera. I'm recording with a, an iPhone at the minute, so it's not the best. Um, but it should give you an idea as to kind of how the rust is different in different places. It's obviously achieved by our, our paint product. There's another paint product on the market, which obviously I can't use a name, but it comes in a spray can. Um, and you're not well, you're not going to get this finish um, from it. It's pants. I've used it before. Um, and they're trading off basically our name as well on eBay, which is very irritating. Um, but yeah, you can buy, obviously, as I say, buy, buy cheap, buy twice. So that's that. But obviously this is a five glass shell. Um, so obviously it would never rust naturally. Uh, so I think it's come out, to be fair, it's come out pretty well for uh, only two coats of activator. Obviously there's a few tricks and stuff we've used with kind of different colours, like we've, we've painted obviously a cream one here, sanded that back, there's a bit of green in it. I mean that's obviously achieved by the, the, the user, which i.e. you. Um, but with regards to literally the rust, it is just our two products, which is our original rusty paint um, and the specs again. They're available on our website. The dashboard, as you can see, across the top, very nice patina on the interior of that. Um, extremely happy how that's come out again. That was done with the specs, coloured rusty paint, dab of rusty paint. Um, so you just yeah, let your imagination go wild, really. But obviously, we're happy with this at the minute. Uh, we're going to leave it now, and hopefully, next time you see any kind of pictures or videos of this, it will be when it's built and on the road. Cheers for watching.